Annabelle Karachi surrounded himself in the study of painting from an early age, influencing painters and creating prodigious works that were admired by his students and those he was commissioned to paint for. Annabelle Karachi was born in Bologna, Italy, November 3, 1560. His paintings are notable for capturing movement through broken brushwork. He came from a family of artists and working class folk. Two of his family, his cousin Ludovico and his brother Augustino, were noted painters of the period as well. All three were students as well as teachers, founding a painting studio in Bologna, which was the first of its kind in history. Annabel Caracci brought new life to northern Italian painting, focusing on color, light, and the study of nature with emotive communication. Karachi's use of sharp contrast between shadows and brighter light departed from less use of contrast separation of previous artists such as Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci. Annabelle Karachi, along with his brother and cousin to a smaller extent, are credited with transforming Italian painting in the late 16th and 17th centuries. In 1582, the three founded a painting studio in Bolognese, initially called by some the Academy of Desi de Rossi, desirous of fame and learning, and subsequently the Incomunidad Progressives, literally, of those opening a new way. Teaching at the Academy was heavily influenced, as Caracci was, by Renaissance artists like Raphael, Michelangelo, Correggio, Paolo Veronese, However, interesting glimmering colors and mistier edges of objects came from Venetian oil painter Titian. This combination of styles is what the basis of Baroque style was developed from, and many students became inspired and talented artists out of this academy. Two famous pupils, Nicolas Poussin and Zappari Benicio, came out of their schooling at the academy and apprenticeships with Annabelle. Annabelle likely developed his talent in such a systematic and detailed extent because of his teaching, causing him to break down and study each of his subjects. His preparatory work was unparalleled in his time. All three of the Karachis made an enormous impact on art all their own. Quite a talented family. The Karachis were commissioned to do one of their greatest and most noted works by Cardinal Ordado Farnese in celebration of his brother's wedding. Annabelle and Agostino left Bolognese late in 1595, traveling to Rome to begin decorating the Camerino with stories of Hercules, appropriate since the room housed the famous Greco-Roman antique sculpture of the hypermuscular Farnese Hercules. The three Karachis were responsible for many frescoes which they worked on together, making it sometimes difficult to identify whose work was whose. But this one was Annabelle's masterpiece. He painted on the ceiling of the huge Farnese gallery, Love of the Gods, although sadly he had a lot of trouble getting paid for his labor, further aggravating the depression which he was prone to. Fresco paintings were more highly regarded as a true test of a painter's talent. Caracci formatted his frescoes in a framed style, quadro-reportado format, separating each depiction from one from the other, however still achieving an overall flow and harmonious sensitivity. This is Annabelle's most notable and admired effort. Annabelle was also considered the first artist to introduce caricature drawings, likely born out of a sarcastic sense of humor. This sarcastic sense of humor, while inspiring him, also caused him to be overlooked for some commissions, because some felt that he lacked seriousness. Baroque is an interesting term. Art historians traditionally describe 17th century European art as Baroque 
but the term is problematic because the period encompasses a broad range of styles and genres. In the late 18th century, the term Baroque was used in a negative approach to describing works of art because critics compared the art to the Italian Renaissance. This new style was departing from the precise, orderly rationality of classical representation. Caracci is credited as being one of the pioneers of this style in the early 1500s and 1600s. His rival, Caravaggio, also used naturalistic style, much like Caracci, using models from his natural surroundings instead of the holy subjects from the Italian Renaissance. This brought criticism in this period, but the transition from mannerism to Baroque, whom Caracci and Caravaggio were mainly responsible for, became beloved in modern times. Throughout history, however, religion has been the purpose for the majority of art. Without this essential, we may not have had the beautiful pieces we so admire today. Religious art reveals history through the themes of works which were created. Karachi's most notable religious works are Paeta and Christ wearing the crown of thorns with angels holding him up. Karachi humanized Jesus, angels, and other biblical characters in his work. He brought life to them through his success in humanizing the past. Annabelle Karachi is said to be the forgotten artist of the 17th century, possibly because there was no scandal in his life like Caravaggio to keep him prominent and in the spotlight. Annabelle rendered an idealized realism in his work like no other of his time. His work cannot be summed up because it is vastly diverse. But still, his broken brush technique, extensive use of color, original style and angular form with softened edges, and naturalistic subjects changed the history of art. It changed the way we thought of Northern European art in the 16th and 17th century. There's not much of an account of his work after 1605 until the time of his death other than a few sketches in black and white and chalk. Annabelle had a stroke and contracted a fatal disease, leaving the world devoid of an unprecedented talent on July 15, 1609, quietly and without fanfare, just the same way he lived his life. While you enjoy these final images of Annabelle's preparatory sketches, religious painting, satire pieces, landscapes, and self-portraits. Reflect on the picture he painted us of life in Italy during the magical time of the creation of Baroque art. <laughs>